Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your tablet. So basically, we're going to start by turning it on, which your power button is right here. Okay, so we're just going to tap on that. So I just wait for it to turn on completely. Um, you should have it charged at least 12 hours. So have your tablet turned on. Um, Charging for at least 12 hours before we get to the setup. So this is the first page that you're gonna see. Now I'm just gonna focus in a little bit more so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. So to unlock it, it's pretty easy. Um, it does tell you what to do. So just hold your finger there and then you're gonna just unlock it. Okay, just by swiping up. Once we swipe up, this fairly basic. Um, all you have to do is go to your Play Store and start downloading some apps that you may want. And you see all these other empty screens? That's where you can put all your apps, okay? But these are the basic ones that you get with the tablet. As you saw, all we have to do is turn it on, and right away we see this. Now you may see a screen protector already on your tablet. That's perfect. Uh, you don't want to take that off, really, because that screen protector is actually a pretty good one. Usually tablets come with uh, really plastic, uh, really thin plastic um, cover for the screen, which uh, does protect it a little bit, but not for that much time. But this one protects it a little bit longer, so you get a good one. So this one you could use it for a while, okay? Don't use it too long, but use it for a while. Now you do have your basic camera there, which is, I'm going to show you how it works. It's, it's a little bit too basic. Okay, so to take a picture, all you have to do is just tap there, and it took a picture. Okay, so the tablet itself, it's not the fastest at uh, taking pictures, but that's that's it for that part. Now, if you want to get out from the camera part, okay, guys. So if you want to get out from the camera part, okay, it's uh, pretty simple. All you have to do is tap here, and you'll get all these options, okay? And then you can just go back. And you can always tap on home to go to home, okay? You can always tap back and home, okay? So that's how you get out from any app inside this. Um, as well, Play Store, that's where you want to download all your stuff. So, for example, do you want to add an existing account or create a new one? At this point, you don't have to create a new one or just add your account that you already have. So we're just going to put new for now. Okay, you don't need a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to hook it up to mine. So I'm going to put plus because mine's not listed right here. I have to put mine manually. So I do have to click there. So I get this keyword and I can type in. Okay. And once I type in my password, password, there we go, I can just save it, and then I'm going to be connected. Once again, to get out from this, all you have to do is tap here, home or back. There we go. So right now we're connected to our Wi-Fi network. Now it is good to go to settings and get familiar with the settings themselves. Here you do have your Wi-Fi options, your sound, your display. Now your display... Um, you might want to mess around with the brightness, okay? Uh, some people might like automatic brightness because that will change all your brightness settings. Uh, if your room's a little bit dark, it'll bring it up. It'll bring it down, actually, your brightness. And if it's too bright, it'll bring it up, okay? So if your room's very, there's a lot of light, it'll bring up the lightness also on your tablet so you can actually see. So right now it's... There we go. So we brought it up a little bit. I'll bring it down so you can see what's the minimum. So as you can see, it's not a big difference. It's a little difference, but you do see a difference, okay? It's not like the iPad where you see a huge difference between brightness. Um, so here you can check out your storage. So if you put an SD card in it, so I'll show you where you can put your SD card. So that's right around here, okay? So micro SD, you can insert it there. And that way you can keep more files in it and you can put more storage basically on your tablet. Okay, so this isn't um, the 
depends which one you get but you could put 32 gigs for example on it and then you're really good with it other than that you can see here that it has uh, pretty little space on it but it's good enough for now okay we do have available almost a gig well 700 megabytes which is almost a gig so this, these do come with a gig there's 8 gigs as well um, tablets depends which one you get battery you can see your battery percentage there and okay so that, that's all I'm gonna show you for the basics of this okay um, we're gonna go back to home so on your Play Store Okay, now you, you have hooked up to the internet, you can create an account uh, or just use your existing one. So if I put new, it's going to take you to a page where you can type in your name and everything. So we're just going to put AC. And then give our... Done. Okay, it will ask for an email. Obviously, all these accounts do need an email. So I'm gonna type one in right now, which is my YouTube. And then we just have to hit done. So we hit done, there's two ways to hit done on this thing. <coughs> you can also skip a lot of this stuff. Now for this part you need to choose a username. So it will tell you if um it's available or you have to choose another one. So we're just gonna choose another one. Okay, you can type in, you do need a Gmail for this. So you could also, at this point, just create a Gmail account. I suggest just, just doing that on your computer before you do it on your tablet. Um, so username isn't available either. So I'm just gonna skip that. Okay, so once you create it, and you're all done. You are ready and set in to download anything you want from the Play Store. So all you have to do is existing if you didn't already create one. Okay, and then type in your email and password. So once you sign in, it will take a few minutes in order to connect up and everything. Remember, you don't need your Wi-Fi to be enabled like we did. Um, now, I don't suggest setting up with a credit card unless you want to buy some apps. Um, if you want to buy them right away, just set up your credit card. I'm going to put not now. Okay, now these tablets are not the fastest in the world, so you don't have to be patient with them. Um, we're just going to, yeah, phone backed up with Google Account. Actually, we're going to take that off. So you probably do want to back up your, your whole thing with uh, your Google Account. In this case, I'm going to put no. Okay, your main setup for these type of tablets, it is for your Play Store. Because in your Play Store is where you're going to download all the apps that you may need, such as Facebook and all those. Um, for the first time, it will take some time to load up. Once it's loaded, it won't take this much time to load up next time. However, it does always take a little bit of time, because of the RAM of these tablets isn't the greatest thing. So we're not even going to wait for it to load up fully. We're just going to go to search right up there. And we're going to search for Facebook, which is most common. And you will have to download it. That doesn't come pre-installed. All you have to do is scroll down and put install. So right now it's open uh, since I already installed it. But you can just click on install and that's it. Okay. So that's it for this setup. As you can see, it's quite easy. Um, all the stuff that you have to know really is your Play Store, so you can download stuff. Um, remember, you can scroll throughout the screens and keep downloading more apps, more apps. If you want to see more apps, you can just click there and see your main ones. Okay. Now, from here, you can keep doing this and going through apps. So these are actually the best way to get through apps in this in this uh, tablet okay not all tablets are the same but this one's pretty good just because it has that um, apart from that that's it for this guys if you guys have any questions comments about the tablet please write it here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you your Google Chrome okay from here you can just search up anything on the web just by tapping here for example on the search engine now we are on Google right now and we can just write 
quick period, then go. If it doesn't respond fast, that's normal. These things are really slow. Um, I have to say it's slower than my iPhone, really. So just be patient. But you know, it's cheap. So that's why most of you bought it. Really cheap tablet. Um, you are comparing this to an iPad that's worth uh, iPad mini, for example. That's 300 bucks. This is only 60 to 80 dollars. So that's why it is how it is. However, it's not that bad if you want to read. Okay. Um, there, you don't have to zoom in, just like an iPhone or iPad. Okay. It just takes longer. That's all. Cause the RAM isn't that fast. 